Hey everyone, I'm Coach Jazz. Today we'll be talking about the rice bucket workout, specifically designed to create hand and forearm strength. All right, this is something that I've uh, known for quite a while. It's very, very popular in Japan amongst their picture, pitchers. Um, it not only builds strength, but also creates dexterity and mobility and range of motion. There are a lot of forearm workouts that are one directional, but the thing about throwing a baseball or swinging a bat is we're constantly going in different directions. So we want to build strength in our arms, in our wrists, in our forearms, with the ability to go in every different direction. Okay? So we'll get straight into it. What you'll need for this workout is a bucket of rice. As you can see here, I have an old mop bucket that I've filled with rice. It's approximately, I would say, two-thirds or three-quarters full, as you can see how the, there's... You want to leave room above the rice because otherwise rice will be spilling all over the place if it's overfilled. Okay, so again, you can kind of see how much rice is in there. Okay, what I'll be doing for this workout is I'll show you how to do the motion in this clear bucket so you can see what my hand is doing before I put it in the rice. Um, and then once I put it in the rice, you'll be able to see how deep the hand goes. If it's just, some of these drills are just fingertips, some of them you go uh, forearm deep. Okay? Let's get straight into it. So first drill, we're going to have a closed fist. We're going to put the hand into the rice, and we're just going to work wrist rotations. Right. So you can see how my wrist is rotating right. Okay? We do that for 10 seconds and then switch direction. Left. Okay? So you see how the hand, the wrist, the main thing is keep the forearm still when we do this. We don't want the arm turning. The arm stays still. It's just hand and wrist rotations. Okay, so for this one, we want to bring the hand down and do wrist rotations underneath the rice. We're going to bring the rice level to about forearm height. Okay, and when we do this, we go 10 seconds rotate right, 10 seconds rotate left. Okay, so I'm going to show you here now with the rice. I'm going to put my fist, get in there nice and deep. I'm trying to bury it deep down. You can see, I can feel my knuckles almost at the bottom of the bucket here. And now we're going to start right rotations. So I'm rotating right. You can see there's slight movement in my forearm. 10 seconds. Now rotate left. Keep that fist. Rotate the wrist. Keep that fist. Rotate the wrist. Dr. Seuss. All right. Keep it going. All right. Switch back to the right. So remember, 10 seconds, you switch. 10 seconds, you switch. Usually about 40 to seconds to a minute of any of these drills. All right, switch direction is going to feel that nice deep burn. Okay, Ugh. left rotation and switch. Ugh. And left rotation, 10 seconds. Finish strong. As you can see, my whole hand is submerged in the rice and relax. Whew. Feel a nice deep burn in that forearm. You should feel it all in through there. Okay, so again, fist rotation. Before we get any further, what I'm gonna do in this workout is all right hand. My throwing hand is right hand, I'm gonna do everything with the right hand, but everything we do in this video, you must do with your left hand as well. Okay, so do this video, you can either go left, right at the same time, or finish doing it righty, and then do it again with the left hand. Okay, because we need that balance in our body. All right, next one. We're going to start open hand, fingertips close together, and we're going to work rotations. So this one you can tell is a little more in the, the, the arm rotation, but we're going to be turning left and right underneath the sand. Key is to keep a strong, flat hand when we do this. As you can see, we're rotating open, rotating close. Okay? So now we're going to get into the rice bucket. We're going to go deep in there. You want to get your hand nice and low in there. Keep that hand open and twist and twist. The key here is to try to keep that hand flat. Don't let your hand's gonna wanna curl in like this. Don't let it. Keep the hand flat and really try to dig in there. As you can see, I can barely get my fingertips in there. Just keep on turning. You feel a nice burn in that forearm. Let's go for 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight. Try to keep those fingertips underneath the sand. Six, five, four, three, two, 
one, and relax. Whew. That forearm is already on fire. Okay. I love these workouts. I don't think there's anything else on the planet that will make your forearm create such strength, explosive movements, durability, flexibility, range of motion than doing these workouts. Okay. I highly suggest this workout, especially for my pitchers, but really for anyone or hitters too, you know, strong forearms, we need that stability. Okay. Next, we're going to get into a little more pitching specific workouts. Okay. Not pitching, throwing in general. Okay. It's good for everybody. Next one, we're going to be working on fastball forearm speed. So how this is going to work, we're only going to put our fingertips into the sand and it's about speed. So you're going to see here, we're going to flick forward and back, kind of like the forward fastball release as fast as we can for as long as we can. Let's try going for at least 20 seconds here. Okay. So as you can see here, only my fingertips, barely half of my fingers are into the sand and it's about speed and control. Okay. Ready? Let's go forward and back. So you can see my fingertips are going forward and back. Like I'm digging into that sand. Try to keep your arms still and really focus on form flexion, wrist bend. Okay, go, go, go. Feel like you're digging deep into that sand, trying to find something down there. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Good, 10 more seconds. Let's go, keep it going, keep it going. Remember, this is about speed. Quick twitch muscles, quick twitch muscles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, relax, okay? Whew. All right, just make sure that when we do this, we do it controlled and we're not splashing rice everywhere, okay? Because we don't want to flick high and everything launch and keep those fingers deep and just both quick forward and back motions, okay? Um, what we're gonna do now is, you know, many times we don't always release the ball forward and back. There's a lot of left turns, right turns, same thing with hitting, left turn, right turn. So we want to be able to build strength in all motions. So what we're going to do in this next one is the C curve right. Kind of like throwing a curveball. You're going to curve and create a nice um, half moon to the right. Half moon to the right, going left, right, left, right. So I'm going to show you down here. And it's about quick rotations, quick rotations, okay? You want to fight the resistance of the sand when you do this. Okay, so we're going to get in here, and it's quick. So it's just half of the fingertips in the sand, and it's going to be quick, quick. Carve that C, carve that C, go. Okay, same thing, 20 seconds, left, right, half moon, half moon. Okay, so you want to go left, right, feel the turn of the wrist of the forearm going as we're going left and right. Oh, got a nice splash of sand there, or rice. Try to stay in that sand, stay in that, deep in the rice. I keep on saying sand because there is a sand bucket workout. You can do the same workout in sand as well. I feel it's more effective in rice. Let's go five more seconds, five. Really try to dig in there. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, so again, that's that curve to the right, like you're throwing a slider or a curveball or whatever you want to do. Okay, we got one more to go, and that's going to be internal rotation. This one's always the toughest, okay? I'm sure some of us baseball fans know the screwball or Devin Williams change up where they're rotating in, rotating in, okay? Because we want to create that balance. If we're going to rotate out, rotate in. So again, this one, we're going to be curving, same thing, half moon and C turn in, okay? This one, you won't have as much range of motion turning, but you do what your body allows, okay? Same thing, we're going to get about halfway of our fingers into the sand and then start turning for about 20 seconds, okay? Here we go, ready? And go, good, turn it in. Keep those fingertips in the rice as you go up and down. Create that nice half moon in the opposite direction. Internal rotation with the hand. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Breathe, stay strong. Good, remember it's about fast twitch muscles, so you wanna be quick with it. Okay, not about duration, how long you can go. It's about how long you can keep that quick speed. Let's go five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay. It's actually, I said that we have actually have one more I want to do here. Okay. I'm sure we're feeling it in the form because I know I am. I've been doing this rice bucket workout for 
years now and it never gets any easier because it's all about competing against yourself. How long can you go? How fast can you keep the speed? It, it's really easy if you don't challenge yourself if you're going at a slow tempo. So it's all about explosive turns, explosive movements, okay? Last one, so we did the fist rotations. This one we're gonna do whole hand open. We're gonna put our half of our fingertips into the sand and then it's a doorknob turn. Doorknob turn, doorknob turn, going left, right, left, right, okay? So here we go, fingertips in the bucket and go. Turn, turn that doorknob, try to keep the doorknob in the center of the bucket. Again, 20 seconds, turn. Oh man, I could already feel this one. Good thing it's the last one. Keep that speed up, speed up, speed up. No matter what you do, keep that tempo, keep that speed. Don't let it slow down. If you feel yourself slowing down, you're better off stop and reset afterwards, okay? Because we want to really promote fast twitch muscles in those forearms, in our hand muscles, okay? Here we go, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. The main thing there is to keep a rigid hand. A lot of times if your fingers are weak and you're just sliding back and forth, it won't help us very much. You wanna keep strong hand and full turns, okay? You can see you got a nice pump going on in that form. All right, um, and I, like I said earlier, that same routine we just did, do with your left hand as well. I love this workout because it's something you can do just while watching TV at any time. All right, hope you learned a lot from this rice bucket workout. All right, have a good one. Take care.